I'm Kay Good. My name is Linda Cora and I'm the Corskill Historic Museum Director. I'm Marjorie Jackson, one of the co-founders of the Corskill Historical Society. Welcome to the Corskill Historic Museum. Here at this museum, our purpose is to educate people about the pioneers and the Indians in this area from about 1850 on to the present. We have a room specially set aside just for the Indian artifacts. Our Indian village is a work in progress. Gold was originally a gold rush town from 1849 and uh, the Indians helped many of the gold rush people from back east to survive. They taught them the foods to eat, the medicines to use, and how to construct shelters such as the shamishes. The other things that we have here at the museum are our research library. We have collected books through the years that are great for research. Some of them are collectibles. Again, the anthropologists up at UC Davis were amazed at what we had because they didn't have them. And anyone is welcome to come research. We have well over 4,000 names in our records. We have books. We cover such subjects as Indians, uh, roads, schools, gold mines because we are a gold rush town. We have qu quite an extensive collection of uh, gold mining information. Incidentally, Coarse Gold is the last remaining town in Madeira County from the 1849 gold rush. The rest have returned to ranching and uh, farming. The Coarse Gold Historical Society owns this museum. We had published a book called As We Were Told and it was a very good seller. We, and uh, it, from the funds, from the proceedings of that book, we were able to purchase this historical site, originally called Willow Glen. We have a painting of one of the original um, Coarse Gold Supply Companies before it burned down and was moved across the street. We also have a floor plan of what it looked like at one point. Uh, you, we've put inside some of the things that might have been in the store at various times in its history. Remember, starting back in 1850. There are lots of stories about things that happened around here, and one of them is that uh, the upstairs in the Coarse Gold Supply was a dance hall. Uh, they say that at times they danced so much that the cans fell off the shelf downstairs. I'm Kay Good, and we hope you will come and visit us soon. You have an overview of the Coarse Gold Historic Museum. Please come see us.